we've got it, the famed, the infamous McDonald's McPasta. Hmm. Man, it's falling apart. What's good fam, it's your bro Kwame B here and welcome to Kwame B Reviewing, the food review show where I always give you the real deal on all the food I eat. I am unbought and I pay for everything I eat, so all my reviews and recommendations are based on my experience as a restaurateur. Let's get reviewing. I cannot believe I'm about to order McDonald's. Outside of the occasional fry for a child, I have not ordered McDonald's in like 15 years. Go. Now I'm not giving you my soul. All right, build your own pizza, build your own pasta. They're out of chocolate cake, out Belgian waffles, ham and cheese, French toast. What? All right, let's go. They got a dollar menu still? I thought the dollar menu was... Oh, they lied. There's no dollar menu there anymore. That's crazy. Alright, well... Oh, they still have cheesecake and peanut butter explosion cake. We gotta get that. They don't just have ready-made pizzas. We're just gonna get a pepperoni pizza. Okay, Frank, how do we build a pasta? What are we looking for? What? Different types of pasta? Gosh, I don't know what to do here. All right, now they have the tortellini with the chicken, so that must be how they designed for you to have it. So, this is right: linguine, bolognese, basic, double quarter pounder with cheese. Gonna get a little small fry, all day breakfast. The Belgian waffles, everything go. Everything's out of stock for breakfast. They just gave up on us at all day all breakfast. Day. All day breakfast. Out of stock. 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 Cool. All right, we got that. This is a McFeast. The McFeast. <laughs> This might be the first and last stop of the day, folks. I will say that the quality of worker here does not seem any different than any other McDonald's I've ever been to in the past. I wouldn't say it's probably been 13, 14 years since the last time I actually ordered a legit meal for me, myself, to eat from a McDonald's. And since then, it's just been an occasional fry for someone else here and there. And I think one time when I was maybe on a trip somewhere in the middle of the night and it was the only place open, if I'm honest. But other than that, there's been no McDonald's consumption from me because they're historically to me there's nothing there that was good or worth eating. We will see if things have changed, but we're not just at any McDonald's. This is the world's largest McDonald's. I mean, what the frick? I've never seen a McDonald's have cheesecake, peanut butter cake, they have French toast, Belgian waffles. Oh no, that pizza doesn't look like what I thought I saw. Oh gee. I feel like we need to say some silent prayers before. Maybe it's some out loud ones. I feel like every prayer warrior out there needs to hit their knees before we consume what we're about to consume here. You always gotta look. That's the thing. That's the key for restaurants. You always gotta look like you're doing something. Even if there's really nothing you can do, even if you're not, you know, you, you've done all you can and you gotta wait for certain things to cook or whatever the case happens, you always have to make yourself look active and busy because that makes people feel better. It makes, from, pers from a perception perspective, it makes a guest feel like you're doing all that you can to get the food out to them as fast as possible, even though there's literally probably nothing you can do and you're waiting on something else or someone else, you gotta look like you're in the action. So they don't have the cheesecake, so we're not having that today, even though they clearly had a cheesecake on display when we were here and ordered, but maybe it was shellacked and we just didn't know it. All right, here's part one of the order. So here are the classics, I guess, the uh, Big Mac. How do you open this? Well, you can tell I haven't been to a McDonald's in a minute. Big Mac, some fries and the famed DQP. This is what everybody in the restaurant won't stop talking about. Everybody in Chicken Fire cannot stop talking about double quarter pounders and I can't stand it. But it's okay because I'm gonna give it a fair shot. I've never had one before that I remember or know of. We're here to to see what it's all about. As always, we'll start with the fries. These are cold. These are cold. Alright. It's like cold and under seasoned. Not enough salt. Not as crunchy as you would hope for it to be, especially being as thin as it is. Nope. Possibly the most famous sandwich at McDonald's, the Big Mac. Cheese, bread, patty, lettuce, orange Thousand Island-like sauce. Oh, they actually toast their buns at McDonald's. What? Have they ever done that? Maybe this is what you get 
at the world's most, the world's, what is this again? The world's largest McDonald's. A toasted bun. There's hope yet. All right, well, here we go. I always imagined these were larger when I was younger. Oh, there's pickles on here too. Sauce is oddly sweet. Let's go. Well, shockingly, not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth, especially in terms of a burger. I mean, it's kind of, the patty's dried out. It doesn't have the best flavor, but it has enough salt content. The sweetness of the sauce kind of offsets it a bit and kind of brings a little more balance. Personally, I can do without lettuce, but it's not so excessive that it doesn't work here. The cheese could be a little more melted, but it's not horrible. Now, the DQP. Oh boy. These buns look so preserved. Look how perfectly rounded this is. This is just insane. I don't know what they did differently, but this burger is way drier than whatever they comprise it with. It's like what, onions, pickle, ketchup, cheese. It does not taste as good as the other one, which I don't, I mean, you would, I don't know that why they're making burgers differently back there or if this one just sat in a chamber longer than this one did, but not nearly as, like, just different and not better. Not horrible still, though. It's not like the worst thing ever. It's just not good. It's like dry. All right, well, while we're here and while we got it, go ahead and dip into dessert because it sounds like it's gonna be a while before we get any pasta. All right, so, oh, they didn't, she didn't give us a fork. Something I've never, ever, ever even seen or heard a McDonald's do, a chocolate peanut butter explosion cake. What a, what a sight. This is like a little brownie on top, little peanut butter chips on there, peanut butter cream in the middle, chocolate icing, maybe even ganache, who knows, but, and it's, what is this, caramel? All right, let's just get into it. Ooh. It's kind of tough to dig a fork into, like it's been sitting in a refrigerator for a really long time. All right, well, all right, let's get to the real about it. It's super dried out. because That cake has been being refrigerated for a really long time, so it's lost any moisture that might have been there at any point in the past. But it's got a good, like, kind of milk chocolate flavor. Sweet enough, which, you know, I think chocolate needs to be pretty sweet. A lot of people, I'm not a dark chocolate guy. Um, the peanut butter is pretty subtle. Which is fine because I'm not huge on a huge, big peanut butter flavor. And the caramel sauce actually kind of works with it. The cake though being as dry as it is and it's like crumbly, that takes it out. Otherwise it could have been decent. Like it's no, no different than like a cake I think you would get at like a Publix or a Sam's Club. Depending on how you feel, maybe a little better than those on average. I, mean, I would never come back for this and I would not want it again, but like I could eat. If, I, if, this, if this was like at someone's birthday party, I can get through this, absolutely, I can get through this 100% and smile still at the same time. Look at this with pasta here at the McDonald's. We've got it, the fame, the infamous, the not very well known McDonald's, McPasta. The McPasta, we got it as it was supposed to be ordered. We got, this is pretty much just what spaghetti and meat sauce, spaghetti and bolognese, and tortellini and an alfredo sauce with their crispy chicken, McChicken chicken. What we've got. Oh, they brought us out forks this time. This is great. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this crispy chicken. Yeah, it's a slice of pizza, fresh, with like Parmesan on top of it. Hmm. I'll just say right now, I went to Olive Garden and Carabas. Somehow, the clown has made better pasta than both of those places that focus only on making pasta. I mean, that's, I'm not an Alfredo lover personally. I don't really get the craze about it from people, but that is worlds better than anything we had from both of those places together. I mean, just, wow, I never thought I would tell Carabas or Olive Garden they need to come see what old Ronald McDonald is doing. He made a much better pasta than they ever did. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm gonna switch this one out. And let's try this pasta. Spaghetti and bolognese, spaghetti and meat sauce. Linguini pasta, so not spaghetti, with the linguini, but. Folks get the idea, and some shaved, I'm assuming shaved like Parmesan on top. All right, let's do this. Hoping for balance here. Acidity, obviously, a little sweetness, maybe. What are we gonna get? There's like a huge piece of tomato in there, but it's still way better than Olive Garden and Carabas put together. I mean, just insane how McDonald's is able to pull off something that's edible when those two couldn't even 
I couldn't even throw it. Dude, they're not great, so don't get me wrong. These are not great pastas, but these are probably better than what most people make at their house. The noodles weren't overcooked or anything. Like, the noodles were cooked well. There's no complex flavors in here. There's no nothing that's going to, you know, for me that makes me want to come back and have it again. I can I can eat all of this if I needed to, which is, I'm, my mind is blown that I'm at a McDonald's and I can eat all of it if I wanted. Crazy. But we're not done yet. Wait, there's more. Pizza. Now, this might be where it all falls apart. We just went standard here, pepperoni pizza, mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce. Keep it simple. They use these big wide cheap pepperonis, so not really crispy on the pepperonis at all, but we'll see how it comes together. I mean, we'll see. It's a really thin pizza. I want to say, how much was the pizza? They erased the, that is important to go over. The pizza itself, uh, the pizza is $8.99, the pepperoni pizza with pepperoni, $8.99 plus $1.49 for the pepperoni. Pastas were each $10.99. So, interesting. Small little personal pan pizza, thin crust. Oh, it's like really thin. For such a thin crust, it's actually like really underbaked on the bottom here. Kind of gummy, pull apart. -ish. The end crust parts that got crispy. But it doesn't have the crisp that you would want from a thin crust pizza. Not enough sauce. But the cheese is not bad. It's honestly giving me like Chuck E. Cheese vibes. Chuck E. Cheese from like 10 years ago. That was losing its way. This reminds me of that. Yeah, it's like if you uncover this, you just see there's not, there's like no sauce in it. It's, it's like naked. But it's cool, you know, they're just doing their thing. It's like a mask. Mostly cheese, bread, and pepperoni, but the sauce doesn't turn you off like some bad pizza sauces do. Not like horrible, everything that's on there. Not horrible at all. <sighs> Somebody loves their job and someone else does it. She was like, I was like, yeah, just I'm looking for a refund. They're like screaming at me. I was like, yeah, this is just what she told me. She was out of cheese. You guys are out of cheesecake. No, we're not out of cheesecake. We have cheesecake. I was like, okay, I would like it. I paid for it. Give it to me. So, very interesting. Is that like ice crystals on there? I don't know what that is. Like glistening weirdly. <laughs> Our oddly glistening cheesecake. Oh, that's ice. <laughs> it's cold as frick. Why would you even offer this to me? I would just have given the refund and bounce. It's not ready. Oh, frick. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it. Man, it's falling apart. Aside from it being like almost like ice, it, to me it's like no different than any cheesecake you would get from like a grocery store or like from the frozen aisle in Sam's Club. Like this is just, it's just basic you know, hyper-processed cheesecake. It's not, like, horrible. Again, like, everything here is not horrible. It's just not, like, particularly good. If it was actually, like, where it's supposed to be, like, closer to regular refrigerated temps, so somewhere between above 30, above 32, below 42, this would be much better. Right now, that's uh, almost still frozen, so that's no good. Overall, from the McDonald's trip here, hmm. The world's largest McDonald's, all in all, and I give it that solidly. And some big misses here, but some pleasant surprises with that.